Hello everyone. We have so far discussed isothermal reversible and irreversible expansion of an ideal gas, adiabatic reversible and irreversible expansion of an ideal gas. But right now, if this ideal gas is replaced by a real gas, particularly a gas which is obeying the Van der Waals equation, then what would happen? Let's see. So we have to start from the Van der Waals gas equation, which is P plus N square A by P square into V minus N V equals to NRT, where P, V, N, R, T all has their usual significances, such as P is the pressure, P is the volume, N is the number of moles, R is the universal gas constant, and T is the absolute temperature. And N and, uh, and A and B, small letter, are the Van der Waals constants. So the work expression for volume expansion from V1 to V2 is integration V1 to V2 P D V. And if this gas is Van der Waals gas, V D W means Van der Waals, then this equation may be utilized. And uh, in place of P, we are putting here this value of P, which is obtained by rearranging the Van der Waals equation. So we are placing, we are putting here N R T by V minus N B minus N square by V square and into this dv. Now in order to do the integration we have to take the constant terms out of this integration sign. So here dv by v minus nb to be integrated from by giving the limit v1 to v2 and here n square a term would be taken out and dv by v square to be integrated. So this is the separated form of this integration in rt the constant term and here n square a the constant term. t is constant because it is isothermal. Okay. So dv by v minus nb would give the result ln v minus nb. ln means natural log. And here dv by v square should give minus 1 by v. So due to that minus sign, this negative sign becomes positive here. And if we apply the limitations here, then it would result nrt ln v2 minus nb by v1 minus nb. And here it would result n square a into 1 by v2 minus 1 by v1. So this is the expression of Isothermal reversible expansion of Van der Waals gas. That is why this suffix is VDW means Van der Waals, ISO means isothermal, and REV means reversible. And this negative sign is actually denoting that the system is working. So, this is the expression. Now, can you think over this that this work done is more or less than that of ideal gas? The answer should be the work done, this work done should be less than that of ideal gas because the intermolecular attraction force is absent in case of ideal gas while there is some intermolecular attraction force in the real gases and during expansion they have to overcome that attraction force and in order to do that they have to do some more work that is why the that is why the work output is less here so this can be proved mathematically so here for our simplification we write this minus w ideal isothermal reversible as simply ideal v id w id and here minus w van der Waal isothermal reversible would be denoted as minus w van der Waal that means PTW okay and the difference of their magnitudes is work done by ideal gas work done by van der Waals gas okay the difference of these two so let just differentiate the right hand sides okay so this uh, right hand sides here the right hand side of the first equation of the of that of the ideal gas that means which is not mentioned in this lecture but we have previously uh, derived this the expression for isothermal reversible expansion of an ideal gas is nrt ln v2 by v1 so this is the result and now the uh, difference with the work done by the uh, real gas so the value but of work done by the real gas is nrt ln v2 minus nb by v1 minus nb plus n square a by 1 by v2 minus 1 by v1 so they uh, here this plus signs become minus sign okay so here nrt ln v2 by v1 is okay here nrt ln v2 minus n by uh, minus nb divided by v1 minus nb is also okay but here these two terms are multiplied by a minus one so this if minus n square a is multiplied with minus 1 this it becomes plus n square a and if this is multiplied with minus 1 this, the order is reversed so it becomes instead of 1 by v2 minus 1 by v1 we are writing 1 by v1 minus 1 by v2 okay and for uh, since this van der waals uh, constants in a and b are very small 
so in that case it may be approximated that nv is very much less than v okay and this v may be v1 or v2 so in that case v2 minus nv can be written as v2 and v1 minus nv can be approximately written as v1 okay so in place of nrt ln v2 minus nv by v1 minus nv we can also write nrt ln v2 by v1 in that case this first two terms are becomes equal and they may be cancelled by each other in that case this third term would be left uncancelled here so the difference between these two work expressions is only n square a into 1 by 1 by 1 by v1 minus 1 by v2 so the result is this uh, in the denominator you have their lcm which is v1 v2 but in the numerator you have their difference which is v2 minus v1 since it is expansion then therefore v2 should be greater than v1 and hence this uh, result is positive so this is positive means ideal gas work done by ideal gas is greater than that of van der waals gas okay so we can conclude from this uh, uh, from this result that the van der waals gas has to overcome the intermolecular forces of attraction during expansion and hence the work output becomes less so that's all for van der waals expansion thank you have a nice day